Okay, we're at the Backcountry Information Center. These guys are going up to the AT. Of course, I am too. And taking Kinsey Creek. You guys be safe. Yeah, you too. Thanks. All right. This is actually the footbridge that I crossed when I camped out here. So we're basically right here at the campground. We literally just came from the parking lot to the campground. And I'd wondered where that backcountry information center was. I came back in here once. I didn't go all the way. I was literally 50 yards from it. <laughs> so anyway, make our way through the campground to the trail. All right. We've been here before. Be a little bit different in the fall, but we're gonna make our way up Kenzie Creek. All right, this is our turn off. We'll make our way to the left. So this is a connector trail, Park Creek connector. We're going straight because that's where Kenzie Creek is. Taking us can keep trail. Good water, good water, that's good. We like to see that. Should be coming up to a footbridge, I believe. <laughs> here we go. A little work right here on these roots. And our footbridge. So, water's down in here where these leaves are. So maybe that bodes well for the streams up on the mountain. Maybe the springs are still doing all right. I don't know. Anyway, good to see this isn't dry dry. Dry dry as opposed to dry. Anyway, it's not dry. More runoff in the trail, which is good. Want more water. This time of year the better, I guess, to a certain extent. <laughs> Picking my way across these rocks. Good. Good to see water. It was pretty dry up here two weeks ago, maybe. Maybe they got some rain. Lots of fall. Fallen leaves. Hope it'd still be plenty on the tree, but I think when I get up high, I think overall there's still enough on there to paint the mountains. On my drive in, I could see the mountains look great up here. This is a really cool spot. Probably can't hear it on the uh, camera, but I'm gonna try to be quiet. You can hear like a low bassy sound where the water's like dumping into a whirl. Kind of sounds like talk radio or something. It's kind of weird. Beautiful section of the stream here. Beautiful orange is still on the tree and yellows. Yellow. You can recall this where the logs are piled up there. We came from that way. It's passed a couple of people with their dog. We're two miles from the campground, so Pretty gingerly two miles. About two more miles and we'll be at the gap, give or take. Still, still good water running. This is a sketchy bridge at the falls. I remember this now. Don't look like it's gotten any better. Than before. I recall last time I think the water actually went up over some of that, but it's still doing pretty good. Folks going there, heading down. Still looks good, still flowing good and strong up here. Good to see. Plenty of water on Kenzie Creek. I remember this tree. 
pretty cool. Awesome tree. That's new. It's come down sometime this year. Since the last time I was here. Or almost to the gap. Maybe half a mile, quarter mile, I don't know. Getting tired. Ready for a break. All right, dumped out on the Forest Road. Actually, it's just like a parking area off the Forest Road. We still got a little bit of trail left. We dump out of there. I don't know where this road goes, but it goes somewhere. It went in a belt if it didn't. Here we go. We are at Deep Gap. Where we left off. Time for a break. All right, we come up out of the gap, headed up to Standing Indian Shelter. This is actually just before the summit, so we'll see the summit. If not in the morning, maybe we'll do a slack pack out to it this afternoon before dark, I don't know. Kind of a steep side slope here. One-sided bridge, kind of like those on Kimsey Creek. Clearly whoever built those probably built this. Steep runoff ledge here. Some birds. Which is kind of cool. I don't see, I often don't see a lot of birds when I'm hiking. I'm seeing some today. Huh? Southern Nantahala Wilderness. We're about a half mile from Deep Gap. Which means we're about a half mile from the shelter. Maybe three quarter. I'm gonna be optimistic. I hear a dog barking. I only assume that means we're getting close to the shelter. We got a summit there and a summit here. One of which is standing Indian. We'll get up there soon enough. Right? Stop at the shelter and pick us out a place to sleep. Blue trail there. I think that may be a spring. On the other hand, they got a, got a crossing here. Oh, this is the shelter. Okay. So we're here. Make our way, make our way. There we are. We got some campers. And a dog. Of course, he don't like me. All right, so this is the setup. The only thing I don't like is these persic knots. They're not wanting to stay tight like they should. Hence, my tarp sags a little bit, gathers in. But here we are set up. Got the doors. The doors are hooked crossways. And this is shock cord coming back to the stake, so that keeps them closed. And, uh, same thing on the front, on the side. Here I've got um, some beanies, just to make it easier. And I've got shock cord pulling this out, but i got nowhere to do that on the other side. So it's going to be a little cramped. But, you can see how it is on the inside. Should keep the wind off of me. <laughs> it's a tangled line of mess back here, but should work good. We'll see. Anyway, time to eat. About time. There's the shelter. Here's some folks in the back. That's my mess. I want to film you guys mind? That's oh, go. Have you on. We have Jesse. Yep. Joel. Yep. Joel. Daniel. Yeah. Kayla. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. They're headed down Kimsey Creek, which is where I came from. Well, it's not like where I came. I wasn't born there, but that's the trail I came from. So. They'll be safe. Have a good time. They don't have trail names either, so 
What are you gonna so do? So there's the privy. If you're ever at Standing Indian, keep in mind that the privy can be seen from the shelter. And by that I mean you can see into the privy. Now you'd have to really be looking, but I had people camping down there who pretty much could have seen my business. All right, we're leaving the shelter. That's uh, Ed and Jennifer and Chewy. Chewy thinks everybody owes him money. Every time you come up, he's barking. Where's my money? Anyway, we're heading down the trail. Water source is down there. We got a couple camp behind us. They came up through Tate City. Apparently their Deep Gap Trail will take you out of Tate City up to Deep Gap. Did not know that. I have to remember that one. So, it's kind of try to get you where you can see without the sun. I believe that's standing in you and that should be where we're headed. In case there was any doubt, up. Heading for the summit of Standing Indian. All right, we're on top of a little side peak. It's kind of like a a knob. I think we still got a little ways to go to the top of Standing Indian, but we're on a ridge. Camera's just not going to pick this up, but we are up there. Got a crow out there flying around. Beautiful. Still got a little ways to go though. Get up here to the top. The AT goes this way and I think the summit goes off here. Let's go look at the sign. Lower Ridge. So I'll be heading that way. AT goes that way. The summit is up this way. So we're going to go up to the summit, have a look, take a break, and then head down. Well, here we are, standing Indian Mountain. I think this is looking kind of south, southwest. Way out there is probably Lake Chatoog. Some fire. That's not good. All right. Back at our turn, which for us is really a straight. Heading down Little Ridge. This will take us down to Standing Indian Campground, the backcountry kiosk where I'm parked. So probably about four miles, give or take. But look at this. <laughs> this guy's just kind of balanced. I won't say balanced, but he's kind of sitting here. He leaned up on this tree, which is leaned over. And then underneath this, it's like a puzzle. He's over him, under him. It's just something else. And this trail doesn't get as much use, so it's a lot of a lot of uh, leaves. I'm oh. taking a break here. This little saddle. Been descending for a mile, mile and a quarter, something. Well, we're going to keep on. We've got to get all the way down to the campground, so it's going to be a descent. Wind's blowing. It's beautiful up there on the summit. I did call the Forest Service. They were aware of the fire that's over there. They've been watering it for a couple of days, she said, I think. And I guess we're just going to kind of let it burn, see what happens. This windy day would have been tough to fight. Oh, well, you hate to see that. Hopefully it don't spread too much. But, uh, yeah, this trail, a lot of leaves on the ground. Not a lot of people travel it, so. But you can follow, and there's blue blazers around. Leaves are coming down. 
So after we got off the of standing Indian, kind of a steep descent, kind of saddled over to this point, but it's kind of descending real steep too. You can see the ridge on the opposite end there, which I assume was probably Albert over there somewhere. Um, got a little steep through here, but it's beautiful. A lot of yellow leaves still on the trees here. Just, just brighten it up in here. It's just, of course the sun too, but still the leaves just, I don't know, it just seems a little brighter to me. So this is a steep bench cut. Give you an idea. Well, you can look at the trees and see that it's basically that steep. Way down yonder. This is about level. So. Side slope is pretty, pretty steep. It's a big tree that fell back there. Another big one right here. Pretty amazing. Something that big just break off where it did, but clearly it must have been rotten or dead already. Something else. Took a break right there and uh, heard some sound like choppers going by and they sound like they were laden I mean you, you just had such a low low sound I suspect they're going over to that fire and maybe they had some water in them I don't know but but they're heading that way so maybe that means they're gonna resume some dumping dousing or whatever on that fire today I don't know Back on another ridge. Hopefully that means we're going to be going down again because I know we got to go down before we can get to the campground. So this is just kind of like a little knot out here to stand on. This is level, so gives you an idea how steep that is. So level down. A lot of steep stuff here. Um, these leaves make it a little bit treacherous because you could just slide right off pretty easily in so many places. But, uh, yeah, trail just doesn't get a lot of use. I guess particularly this time of year, like right here, you can't even really see trail hardly. But see what I can do? Keep my foot on some solid ground and Starting to get some blisters, they're getting kind of hot. My feet. Oh, this is a switchback. Yeah, looks like remnants of an old beehive. We're down into these rhododendrons. So we've kind of come down off the mountain for the most part, I hope. Um, I just passed a couple that I'd passed yesterday. They're heading up, so I guess they're closing the loop. They said they were about a mile in so that should be about what we are you know we just dumped out on some double track here so let's be getting close so this is the first water uh, the double tracks just right up there uh this is the first water that i have seen coming down lower ridge trail so if you uh come up here and you do this loop i would suggest when you get to stand in Indian shelter, that if you're coming counterclockwise, uh, that you water up there, because this will be the first chance, and this is probably three and a half miles down, so. It's a good water source, though. Plenty there. I suspect we're getting close to the campground, which is to say, I hope we're getting close to the camera now. That was, that was a lot more sketchy trail than I anticipated. That, that was hard, very hard on the legs. What a pack. Um, hey, somebody owes you money but wants to go hiking, <laughs> that's a good one to take them on right there. There's a car. There's a car to the road. You gotta be getting close. I think this is probably the back end of the campground here. 
I guess it's going to meander around for a little while before it dumps us out, but we'll see. I can see more tents over there, so. That's pretty interesting. I saw another one back in the woods back there. Hmm. Don't see that every day unless you happen to be living right there. More campground. We're just kind of going around here. Perimeter of, so of sorts. Making our way around. Yeah. I guess the road wheels around. I don't remember it wheeling around, but clearly it does. We're going to keep going straight. came out of there we're still meandering because that's not the main bridge so I don't know if it doesn't look like a duck's in there so we must go across the bridge I think I remember this this is the back the very back I want to say that gate was closed when I came here in the spring that could be lower ridge I don't see a blue blaze It could be over here too. Here we go, here we go. There we go. So don't go there, go here. And this is gonna go around and take us out up the road again. So the trail kind of follows the, the creek here, the river. Um, the trail dumps you out on kind of like a little beach looking thing here. There's our bridge right there take us back in the woods I'm sure but I think I've seen guys fishing down here before through the road of dungeon tunnel to the bridge this closes our loop there's where we went in yesterday literally right down from there as you're heading out of the campground is this trail that says back country information booth so yeah maybe a couple hundred yards in you come out to the forest road and to the kiosk There's our sign, there's our car, and we're done. I'll probably take the forest road out of here like I did coming in. Find something to eat. 